Sir Jim Ratcliffe to axe 10 Man United stars including Marcus Rashford and Luke Shaw as key Man United player makes huge injury return to squad. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has been told to begin his rule over Manchester United's football department by ruthlessly culling 10 players. England duo Marcus Rashford and Luke Shaw have both been named by former Premier League striker Dean Saunders on his list of passengers who should be flogged. Chairman of Petrochemicals Conglomerate in Yos and Boyhood United fan Ratcliffe last week agreed a £1.3 billion deal with the Glazer family which will give him a 25% stake in the club and allow him to take charge of the Red Devils football operations. United have been in free fall this season, losing 13 of their 27 games in all competitions, with manager Eric Ten Hag relieving some of the pressure on his position after his side produced a dramatic 3-2 comeback win at home to Aston Villa on Boxing Day. Still, there's set to be a massive overhaul on and off the pitch under Ratcliffe, who's been advised by Saunders on which players to axe. The ex-Villa, Liverpool and Derby County striker started off with three misfiring forwards and claimed on TalkSport, Rashford has been there too long. Marshall, I'll drive him to the airport. Anthony, drive him to the airport. Luke Shaw has been there too long. Diogo Dalot's not good enough. Raphael Varane, he's a good player obviously, but it's not worked for him. Tin Hags tried to get rid of Varane. Johnny Evans is not good enough now, so there's the back four. Aaron Wan Bissaka, he's tried to get rid of him. He's got rid of Fred. McTominay, the manager has obviously shown he doesn't think he's good enough, but he gets goals. He's not good enough to play for Man United, in my opinion. If you play for Man United in midfield, you've got to be one of the best players in the world in midfield. You're not playing for Crystal Palace. Saunders then named Red Devils outcast Jadon Sancho as his 10th player to join the Exodus, with the £72 million signing last featuring in August before a fallout with Ten Hag. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Sancho, Anthony, Marshall, you're looking at what, £200 M or something like that just for them. The 75 capped Wales International added. Passengers, absolute passengers. Obviously, those 10 players won't be sold in the January transfer window, but could depart at a later date. Wan Bissaka, Varon, and Marshall are all out of contract at the end of this season and will become free agents unless United intervene. As part of the deal, which is yet to be ratified by the Premier League, Ratcliffe must be consulted on all contract and transfer decisions next month. In other news, Mason Mount sends message to Man United fans as he nears injury return. Returning Manchester United midfielder Mason Mount has provided a message for the fanbase as he nears a return from injury. Mason Mount was the first summer signing through the door for Manchester United as Eric Ten Hag believed the £55 million midfielder could be the man to replace free signing Christian Eriksen. This, however, has not been the case with the Englishman suffering a muscle injury after the Tottenham Hotspur defeat and has been in and out of the team with recurring small issues. Mount has been missing for the past few weeks due to a calf problem, but is back in training now and he could be involved against Nottingham Forest this weekend. Mount's message to the fanbase. The Old Trafford fanbase have certainly been patient with the English midfielder, and the frustrating aspect of Mount's struggles this season is that when he has played, he has looked the part. Writing on Instagram, the former Chelsea midfielder had a nice message for the fans who had been supporting him this season. He said, Hope you had a great Christmas Reds. Can't wait to be back out there with the lads. If the English midfielder is fit enough for the vital clash at the city ground, Ten Hag will surely start the 24-year-old in the East Midlands. Mount is needed. Eriksen came in for the encounter against Anai Emery's Aston Villa and the Danish midfielder alongside United captain Bruno Fernandes and was influential, particularly in the second half. With the offside traps that Villa attempted at Old Trafford, this meant there was huge space in behind for United's dangerous attackers to exploit, and the creative duo were doing just that. Against Nuno Espirito Santos' Nottingham Forest, however, these spaces in behind will not be there and the Red Devils will have to be aware of the fiery atmosphere that awaits them. Playing Eriksen, who has historically struggled when the opposition teams press him, would be a risk. Mount has waited for his opportunity and deserves to finally prove why Ten Hag spent a significant amount of his summer budget on the attacking midfielder. He has to start. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.